and Jasper McDonald Parsons and I'm here to bring you the biggest news of the week. Isn't it great to be back at school and to be able to spend more time outside? I'm really enjoying it. It's spring, the sun is shining, then it rains, then it's freezing cold and then the sun shines again because this is Melbourne and the weather likes to keep us on our toes. But anyway, it's great we can spend more time outside. But at this time of year, being outside can have its own perils. And I'm not talking about the Rona. I'm talking about the birds. Between July and November, when Mummy and Daddy birds are mating, some of our native birds get swoopy to protect their eggs and their cute little babies. Now, before we get overly dramatic, not all birds swoop. Swooping birds are actually less than 10% of the bird population. So, you know what to look out for. Let's take a look at the common swooping birds in Victoria and where you might see them. There's Australian magpies which are common across Victoria and can be found in suburbs and farmland. There's magpie larks, which look a bit like Australian magpies, except they're smaller and have more white on their feathers. They're commonly found in urban parks and gardens. Red wattle birds who are very noisy and argumentative birds that are very common in urban areas. The grey butcher bird, which lives in woodlands and open forests, as well as in some urban parks and gardens. And finally, mast lapwings, or plovers, which are loud ground birds that live in wetlands and woodlands, as well as paddocks and playing fields. So, what should you do to protect yourself from being swooped? Number one, don't go to swooping areas. Look for warning signs, notices from your school, or have a look at the Victorian government swooping bird location map and avoid the areas where there are swooping birds. Number two, be careful. If you have to go through a swooping area, move quickly, but do not run, because then they'll ch see you and chase you. Travelling in a group is a good idea as well. If you're on a bike or scooter, get off and walk through the area. Number three, protect your noggin. Wear a hat or a helmet, or carry a stick or umbrella over your head. You can also draw or stick eyes on the back of your hat or helmet so the birds think you're watching them, making them less likely to swoop. Number four, be nice. One of the things that makes birds swoop is that they think you will hurt them or their eggs or babies. So don't throw things at birds or damage their nests because it gives them more of a reason to see us humans as threats. And don't feed the birds, no matter what Mary Poppins says. You may think that's being nice, but it's not good for them and can also encourage them to swoop. Remember, all Victorian native wildlife is protected by law and it is illegal to harass or harm native birds or and other wildlife without authorization. To report a swooping incident by any species of bird, mark its location on Victoria's swooping bird map. Visit wildlife.vic.gov.au. This has been another episode of Kids News Weekly. I'm Jasper McDonald Parsons. Thank you for watching. Oh, time to relax.